we are going to be very strong on background checks. Uh, I've spoken with many of our people in Congress, our senators, our congressmen and women, and there's a movement on to get something done. We want to be very powerful on background checks. Very, very important that we have offensive capability as well as defensive capability that's within the schools. I spoke with Paul Ryan this morning, with Mitch McConnell, and people are looking to really energize. I, I know that you've had — this has been going on for a long time, many, many years. And you've had people in my position, and they would mention things, but not a lot of things got done. See, a security guard doesn't know the children, doesn't love the children. This man standing outside of the school the other day doesn't love the children, probably doesn't know the children. The teachers love their children. They love their pupils. They love their students. They're doing it also from love. Now, they have to be very adept. I'm not talking about every teacher. I'm talking about a small percentage. Semi-automatic and let alone automatic weapons are essentially not available. Uh, indeed, uh, there are many classes of the, the range of firearms that are available to uh, uh, people that don't have a specific, you know, professional need, like, you know, people who are involved in pest control and so forth. Uh, are very, very limited. But it's, it's a completely different uh, context, historically, legally, and so forth. Uh, we are very satisfied with our laws. We maintain them. Uh, we, they're there. They're well known. You've referred to them. But we certainly don't presume to uh, provide, uh, you know, a p policy or political advice on, on that matter here. They're very different countries with very different sets of problems. But I think we're well on the way to solving that horrible problem that happens far too often in the United States.